welcome back to my channel. This is me, Arizona Rock Gardens Designs, Julie E. Um, I don't have a Artapalooza fast forward video for you today. Uh, my secondary camera didn't record again, so I don't know what's up with that. But I have plenty of dried results because we did a lot this week. Um, this was the dustpan pours that was um, inspired by Sarah Mac and it dried gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to get a, some varnish on this and wake these colors back up a little bit more. They dried kind of dark but I knew that going in. But the details in it are just so pretty and I don't know if I can get them in here without getting washed out but yeah really pretty. I love the lines and everything. Just pretty. And look at the way the gold dried with all the wispies in it and stuff. I'm really loving it. So yeah, there's that one. That was from Monday night's video. And then Tuesday's was the leftovers that were um, still in the dustpan. And yeah, my conversation with Taz and I'm surprised he hasn't come in here yet. He probably will now that he's heard his name and hears me talking to somebody that's not him. Yeah, it came out great. I still haven't um, gone over the edges yet, so but they're nice and smooth. Everything dried nice and flat, so yeah, I can go over and touch that all up with one of the many colors to choose from and just go around the edges and do that one. So that was Tuesday nights, and then we had um, Wednesday nights Artapalooza, which was so much fun over on Tish Winner's channel on the Artist Haven channel. And yeah, let me move that out of the way. Um, this one I did that night. This was a pseudo swipe. You guys have seen me do those before. I think they're just so much fun, and this one came out awesome. How neat is that? It looks like an alligator or snake skin or dragon scales. I just, I love this. Came out great. I love those colors together. I love this area, this whole area up in here where you've got that um, gradation um, from light to dark with some of the blue mixed in and stuff. I just, oh, I'm in love with this one. In love with it. And let's see. Oh. These, these two were the two flip cups I did. And it was kind of an experiment because um, the black that I use to do this with, to get the lacing with, I thought, I wonder if I could put that in the bottom of the cup and add my colors and see if it would kind of flow out of the cup on top of the colors and create any kind of cells or lacing also. And then I did one without it in the cup, just to see what the difference would be. And yeah, there's quite a difference. This one came out gorgeous. Dried beautifully, everything. All the same paints, same exact way they were layered, everything. And this one dried beautiful. I love it, I love the pattern and everything. But this one, this one got weird. Yeah, can you see the cracking and splitting that happened? Isn't that strange? Just from the one difference in paint. And it's the same pouring medium, it was just the only difference with the black is that um, it has a uh, three parts pouring medium instead of the two parts pouring medium like the rest of the paints. That was the only difference between um, the paints and the two cups was just that black. And what a difference. What a difference it made. And it wasn't a good difference. <laughs> Not a good difference at all. Yeah. Just strange how that happens. But anyway, and then from um, the runoff that went all over the bottom of the box and paper, um, from these pores and this pour, what I did is I took some tiles and I just dipped them. I just stuck them right down in the paint mess and peeled them up 
And that's what I got with these. And I think they came out really beautiful. Clara called them peacocky. They're peacocky colors. And yeah, they're pretty. They have that really pretty metallic shine in them. So I'm really pleased with those. So those will be getting a coat of resin in the next few days. And then this one, it was the same. I dipped it, but I didn't like the way the dip came out. So I swiped over it. And yeah, so that's what you get when you use that um, oxide black. And dried great. No splitting, no cracking. Really nice. So yeah, there's our dried results for the week. So I guess we'd call this our week in review video of dried results. Okay guys, I'm back. I felt bad that I didn't have a pouring video for you, so, but I have a lot of leftover paints. And I thought, oh yeah, I should use them up anyway. So, and I haven't done um, an open cut pour in forever. And yeah, let's, let's just do a quick spin. We'll have a quickie today. All right. Don't ask me what these colors are or anything like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are all part, all um, one part paint to two parts pouring medium, but what colors they are mixed with, I don't remember because I've done so many custom colors over the week and a half, two weeks. So we're just gonna get what we get and be happy with it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Is that one? Oh, I think it's very pretty. I think it's very pretty. Okay. Okay, got the camera down. Here are some wet results. Not cells and lacing. Oh, so pretty. I tried to get as much of this blue area right here, this dark blue area, off as I could without losing that lacing there. That is so pretty. I 
And then the lines. Look at the lines of gold running through there. Isn't that just so beautiful? I am really digging this one. Okay. So there you have wet results. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry, and it's going to take a while, so I guess uh, when I see you again on Monday, I'll show you the dried results then. Okay guys, loves and hugs y'all, bye!